Many thanks to Daisy Podcast, Pandemonium, Lion Lost, Wolves of Daisy, and the Great Escape server for making this video possible. Daisy 1.19 is a monster patch that has changed a lot of stuff, so I've created 30 quick tips to make surviving it that little bit easier. Being underwater with very low stamina will kill you in around 10 seconds, but if your stamina is full, you will last 20 seconds. In order to drown, you need to be at zero stamina, which means EpiPens will make you immune to drowning for one minute. You are now 100% protected inside a vehicle from the rain, but if you go for a little dip in a vehicle, you will get wet still. Ruining a fuel tank will ruin the vehicle entirely, but aiming for the driver is still the best way to stop a vehicle with bullets. Reversing the V3S into anything, even at 10 kilometers an hour, will destroy the fuel tank and engine completely. You can repair a fuel tank that isn't ruined to stop leaks with a blowtorch or epoxy putty but there is no way to currently repair the radiator. If your fuel tank or radiator have a leak, turning your vehicle off will stop it from leaking entirely until you can make repairs. Along with repairing vehicles and lighting fires, the new blowtorch can also repair the cooking pot and frying pan. Holding shift while braking will now stop you around 30% faster than using the normal brake. This brake will come in very handy because the military convoys and larger police events will make roads much more hazardous. Unless you're in a V3S, you need to be very careful because objects on the floor can now stop vehicles in their tracks such as fireplaces. In previous patches bears could sometimes hit you inside vehicles, now it's impossible for AI to hit you at all. Players inside vehicles are now completely invisible to infected so as long as you turn the vehicle off they will lose interest and go away. The new Humvee is the only vehicle that has windows that can absorb a lot of bullet damage and stop lower caliber rounds entirely. Grenade launcher smoke rounds now inflict a lot of damage and have an accuracy stealth buff allowing them to kill easily at 50 meters. The flare gun now inflicts an extremely low 10 health damage and no shock damage and cannot be suicided with either. Mushrooms, fruit and small stones will only spawn if a player is within 100 meters of one and will despawn 5 minutes after spawning. The landmine, gas canister or 40 mil rounds will take damage inside a player's inventory and explode killing everybody around you. Items carried inside your backpack would take much less damage than your vest, chest or pen. Placing items within items will protect them entirely from taking damage which also works inside fireplaces. Reloading a weapon during uneven terrain will interrupt the animation dropping the magazine or ammo onto the floor. Fishing rods now take 3 times less durability damage while in use and can be used a decent distance away from water. Water inside the bunker will slowly raise over time meaning if you go up this ladder you can get trapped inside the bunker until somebody releases you. Explosions and gunshots inside the bunker will travel at the same speed and volume as outside the bunker which is over 3 kilometers with some weapon. You can now untie other players with no tools allowing you to bypass the bleed you get from barbed wire. All players have a brain hitbox that will instantly kill players if attacked and can only be attacked with bullets because it has to penetrate the head hitbox first. Wearing a helmet will protect your brain hitbox completely from being attacked until the helmet becomes ruined. Impact sounds have been added to this patch alerting you with thrown grenades but some surfaces don't play impact sounds. It's now nearly impossible to maintain immunity so don't assume you're immune while you're doing this stuff but multivitamins will still make you immune. A lot of civilian loot spawns inside these apartment buildings on Livonia, but Chernerous apartment buildings don't spawn any loot still. Bonus tab. If you're knocking on death's door and you've got yourself a grenade launcher and a low ceiling, you can go out with a bang. If you want to learn more about the mighty 1.19, here is a guide to get you up to speed with everything that's changed. Thank you very much for watching and have a good patch.